Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of the Daily Top 7 at 7. I'm your host, Virtual Kane, and today is the 21st of June, 2017. In our first story of the night, it looks like the King of Saudi Arabia has decided that his successor should be his son. Originally, the successor to Saudi Arabia was going to be the king's nephew, who has been fighting ISIS for the last seven or eight years. It looks like, uh, despite his contributions to the country, uh, the son is uh, actually going to be the next king. Uh, we have yet to find out whether or not the king is planning on abdicating his throne anytime soon, but some people are believing that this could only lead to further instabilities in the Middle East and more backlash towards Qatar. The U.S. backed, uh, the US -backed Syrian forces are closing in on Raqqa from the south. Earlier this week, there was a 48-hour uh, peace talk held. They, it basically was between the Americans and the Russians trying to figure out what they can do to cease the hostilities in the area. However, as soon as the talks were over and the 40, 48 hours were up, Syria decided to go honey badger on its own people and carpet bombed them. So we don't know if those Syrian forces were backed by Russia, uh, most likely by Iran, but there is a possibility that they could have been Russian. So it stands to uh, raise the question, uh, did US and Russian talks not go so well? And, you know, result in the immediate dispersal of Russian forces to uh, make that point, uh, to drive that point home. We will find out in the future, obviously. All right, this this article didn't have a picture to go with it and, it, and I nearly missed putting it into rotation. I usually try not to choose articles that don't have a picture because this is a very visual format. You like to see my beautiful face and, you know, my sexy tank tops. I don't understand why. However, this is kind of an important story. This is about the healthcare bill that has been pretty much forcibly passed through. Uh, there has been several days of them staying up all night and pushing uh, for the agendas, trying to fit their own uh, stimulus in there, and while preventing Democrats from actually making any sort of amendments or changes to this uh, proposed uh, to this proposed bill. Uh, sadly, I don't even think that the, the Democrats were even trying very hard uh, because at one point they decided that one of the amendments that they needed to make was to change the name of the Republican health care bill to the Republican not very fair and, and not very healthy health care act. And that's just kind of ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the Democratic Party is in such disarray. If you are, if you're a Republican or a Democrat, you're in the wrong party. I'm just saying that. I think there is a way that we can both treat citizens like real people, but also keep the peace. Because obviously, these guys can't see any way to do that together. New Mexican U.S. beer mocks Trump as frowning mariachi. I think this article is, uh, you know, one of the good lighthearted articles that we need to, to focus on. Probably should have read this one last. However, it's pretty funny. Look, you got... Uh, you got Trump here. <laughs> His, uh, he's wearing a Nazi belt buckle and a sombrero that says, fuck you. Right there on the beer bottle. Okay, that's great. Uh, they decided to name it Amigos Cerveza, and they purposefully misspelled Amigos because apparently we mispronounce the word Amigos. So, is it Amigos? Amigos? Who knows? <laughs> I'm su I suppose if you spoke the, the language, you would know. However, I only know the bad words, so let's move on. UN chief appoints Russian diplomat to top anti-terror job. This is a little scary, ladies and gentlemen. The reason I say this is because they have been noted 
for telling us that their idea of terrorism and our idea of terrorism are two very different things. Literally, they are saying that any action that the U.S. takes in any foreign country is just as much terrorism as any action ISIS takes in any country. Therefore, having a Russian diplomat placed in the top anti-terror job really does not bode well for American troops overseas. If you are an American troop overseas, come home. Just come home. We got, we're going to have a battle to fight right here on, on your main soil. Uh, and you're needed here. Okay? Alright, we'll see you soon. All right, yes. Trump seizes on Republican victory in Georgia to push agenda. This lady right here won the, the victory by a very, very narrow margin. She additionally won due to having nearly twice the amount of the record-holding contribution amount for her campaign basically what that means is at 54 million that's twice as much as anybody has ever had in a campaign ever all right so the republicans literally broke the bank trying to get this woman elected the reason why she was having such a hard time getting elected is because she was going up against a very reasonably well-spoken uh, Democrat who was threatening her way of life. I I don't normally do this, but I feel compelled to show you this clip real quick. This is her uh, and him at the debate, and this is what she had to say in regards to whether or not uh, people should be uh, afforded a livable wage. So different states across this country. This is an example of the fundamental difference between a liberal and a conservative. I do not support a livable wage. What I support is making sure that we have an economy that is, is robust with low taxes and less regulation so that those small businesses that would be dramatically hurt if you impose higher minimum wages on them are able to do what they do best. There's far too much money in politics. Uh, there's far too much unaccountable money in politics. One of the things that I'm... <laughs> Did you happen to catch that little smirk that she gave him when he said there's too much mo money in politics? Let let's see if we can get that again. Money in politics. One of the things that I'm proud of uh, is that... One of the things that I'm countable money in politics. Smirk. One of the things that I'm proud... Money in politics. Smirk. Money in politics. Smirk. One of the things that I'm proud of yeah. is that my... Okay, guys. Enough of that. The point was, is I just wanted to show you that this is a money-grubbing psychopath that is being backed by some very shady people, all right? Uh, as much as I distrust the Democrats, I think I distrust the Republicans a little bit more at this point, because it really seems to me that they are less interested in preserving uh, the democracy of America than they are in preserving their own stranglehold. So, in our last story... U.S. and China meet on North Korea after Trump points to failed Chinese effort. I'm sure you may have heard the quote by now. <clears throat> Trump said that uh, despite all of their efforts, they have failed, but at least they tried. Now, it seems to me that at least they tried is the preface <clears throat> for, and now I'm going to do something. Because you can't really have one without the other. You don't really make that sort of statement without the other statement. It just kind of flows together. Johnny didn't mop the bathroom. Now I have to. So-and-so didn't take the dog out. Now I have to. China didn't deal with North Korea. Now I have to. So, yes, it's one of those things that we would like to call an unspoken threat. So, expect some trouble in the future. I would say that if you are a South Korean and you're in South Korea, go visit your relatives anywhere else. Anywhere else. Just try to get out of the city as quickly as possible 
if any South Korean pop star or idol or, or actor or actress died, I think a part of me would die inside too. You know, they're just such awesome people. If you guys haven't watched any Korean drama on Hulu, you don't know what you're missing. That stuff is insane. Okay, it's it's in a in a realm completely of its own. So check it out um, and see what you think. And and I think you'll agree that you know despite their their problems, they are not a people that deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth. Okay, not the South Koreans, not the North Koreans. Uh, Pyongyang needs a very very fine pinpoint on Kim Jong and his administration or whatever he has forced into becoming his administration. I, I mean, we're talking about a guy who executed his uncle, blamed him for something that he may or may not have done, but I believe it was a pretty seriously tame offense, kind of like that kid stealing a poster off of the wall, uh, getting brain damage and then dying. So we already know that something is about to happen now we have pretty much confirmation that it's coming all right you guys that is it for today i wanted to thank you for joining with me uh we are going to try to do this every day i'm going to try to get it done earlier and earlier each day hopefully i can have this up at 7 a.m every morning but right now it's just a little you know difficult to get spun up so once all the gears you know mesh i think that uh, we'll have ourselves a really good show so thank you for uh, coming in i love seeing all the looks on your smiling faces it brings joy to my heart i will see you on the next daily top seven at seven tomorrow